We don't get to see her often enough, and when I called her, I was had some doubt about her being down here. She broke her leg or a foot or something <laughs> other. But she said, now, if it heals up, I'll sure be there. <laughs> and so she come, and I just, I'm going to call her the singing nightingale of Kentucky, Ooh. Jean Ritchie <laughs> and her sister Edna. Well, <laughs> Well, the Kentucky Nightingale is a whittleding, or the wood thrush, so just call me the, the whittleding. <laughs> I better hush, you might have called me a ding-a-ling or something like that. Um, Ed and I thought we'd start by singing one of the old ballads we used to sing on the front porch as a family. Um, no accompaniment or anything, just sort of s swinging back and forth in the swing and rocking in the rocking chairs and boys sitting around on the steps and and just uh, uh, watching the moon come up and uh, lightning bugs and so on and enjoying the evening. That's the way we, the families used to sing. Most of our songs tonight are just from the far side in the front porch. They're, nothing, they're not performances at all, they're just family music. So this is um, an old ballad we used to sing and enjoy in the family, it's called jack <coughs> There was a silk merchant in London, he did dwell. He had one only daughter, the truth to you I tell. Oh, the truth to you I tell. Her sweethearts, they were plentiful, she courted both day and night. Till all on Jackie Fraser she placed her heart's delight. Oh, she placed her heart's delight. Her when her parents saw him coming, they flew in an angry way. She gave him forty shillings to bear him far away. Sing, oh, to bear him far away. He sailed all over the ocean, all over the deep blue sea. Till safely he got landed in the wars of Germany. Oh, in the wars of Germany. She went down to the tailor shop dressed dressed in linen gray. And labored for the captain to bear her far away. Oh, to bear her far away. Your waist it is too slender, your fingers long and small, your cheeks too red and rosy to face a cannonball. Oh, to face a cannonball. It's true my waist is slender, my fingers long and small, but it would not change my countenance to see 10,000 fall. Oh, to see 10,000 fall. Can, sir, your name I'd like to know before on board you go. She smiled all in her countenance. They call me jack a -row. Oh, they call me jack a -row. She sailed all over the ocean, all over the deep blue sea. Till a safe flight she got landed in the wars of Germany. Oh, in the wars of Germany. She went down to the battlefield, she viewed it up and down. There among the dead and wounded, her darling boy she found. Oh, her darling boy she found. She picked him up all in her arms and carried him to the town. And she called in a physician to cure up all his wounds. Oh, to cure up all his wounds. And now they're happily married, so well they did agree. And now they're happily married, so why not you and me? Oh. So why not you and me? <laughs> See, when a big family breaks up and, and moves all over to different parts of the country, um, 
we live in about seven or eight different states or have in the past in nine states. And um, so you, you sing by yourself instead of singing with the whole family and you get so you don't sing alike anymore. So we know a little bit different sets of words to everything now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that makes it kind of fun. Uh, we're gonna sing now a song uh, called Reckless Boy. You wanna talk about that? Um, I don't know where I learned it. I think I learned it when I was teaching school. Uh, some of the children sang it, and I thought it was so cute that we just kind of adopted it, and we do it uh, as a back-and-forth uh, courting song. Okay, she's going to ask the questions, and I'm going to try to give my answers. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. When are you coming <coughs> to see me? Mm -hmm. Oh, when are you coming to see me, see me, see me? Oh, when are you coming to see me, a pretty little reckless boy? Well, I think I'll come on Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. I think I'll come on Saturday if the weather's all right. How long you gonna court me, court me, court me? How long you gonna court me, my pretty little reckless boy? Well, I think I'll court you all night, all night, all night. I think I'll court you all night if the weather's all right. Well, when are we gonna get married, married, married? Well, when are we gonna get married, my pretty little reckless boy? Well, I think <coughs> we'll marry Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I think we'll marry on Sunday if the weather's all right. Well, how we gonna go to the wedding, the wedding, the wedding? Well, how we gonna go to the wedding, a pretty little reckless boy? I think I'll take the ox cart, ox cart, ox cart. I think I'll take the ox cart if the weather's all right. Well, why can't we go in the buggy, the buggy, the buggy? Well, why can't we go in the buggy, a pretty little reckless boy? Cause the ox won't pull the buggy, the buggy, the buggy. The ox won't pull the buggy, not even if the weather's all right. Well, who you gonna bring to the wedding, the wedding, the wedding? Well, who you gonna bring to the wedding, my pretty little reckless boy? Well, I think I'll bring my children, my children, my children. I think I'll bring my children if the weather's all right. Well, I didn't know you had any children, any children, any children. Well, I didn't know you had any children, my pretty little reckless boy. <laughs> reckless, reckless. Well, yes, I got five children, five children, five children. Oh, yes, I got five children, six if the weather's all right. <laughs> Well, it ain't gonna be no wedding, no wedding, no wedding. Well, it ain't gonna be no wedding, not even if the weather's all right. <laughs> Tell us about the manor. Boy, Emma. It was the manor boy next? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, people used to ask me if I knew any songs about uh, coal mining, and I didn't know one. I, I tried to think of some uh, mining songs, and then I got to thinking when I was at the Pine Mountain Settlement School, just a few miles over the mountains, that um, I learned a, a song about the manor boy, and the girl that taught to me, his name was Charity Moses. I don't know whether anyone knows her, but uh, she was about my age, so she'd probably be about my age now if she's still living. You think she came from Harlan County? Probably she, w she came from Harlan. I'm not sure. I think she was from Harlan County because that's where the, the school is and a lot of the kids are from around there. <coughs> this chair is throwing me backwards. I'm trying to. <coughs> I'm sorry about my voice. It gets it uh, foggy. It gets a foggy view. It gets oh, well, we just apologize all over the place here. <coughs> well, it, it's, it's all right. It's kind of like spitting. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Phyllis. <laughs> 
Okay, let's go on. Now this is this is a sweet little song. It's very gentle, and it sounds like it could have come from England or um, you know, overseas somewhere. Let me get that out of my way now. Okay. You better forget what it is now. Oh, said the mother to her daughter, go bind you to your room. You shall not marry the minor boy, for surely he will be your doom. Then said the daughter to her mother, why are you so unkind? For I Trousers are made of corduroy. His jacket is true blue. And I will marry no other, come rain or sunshine too. So fill up your glasses to the brim. We'll all go joining round. We'll drink a health to the minor boy who labors underneath the ground. Now let's all sing that last verse. So fill your glasses to the brim. So fill your glasses to the brim. We'll all go joining round. We'll drink a good health to the minor boy who labors underneath the ground. Yeah. <coughs> your glasses to the brim we'll all go joining round we'll drink a good health to the minor boy who labors underneath the ground thank you is killing my leg. I can't, can't straighten it out. <coughs> okay, I've asked Edna to sing uh, a solo on the next um, the next song too. If I can find it, pick that up for me. Yeah. And it's called Brown Eyes. It's an old uh, first one of the first old uh, popular songs we heard through the radios, I guess. And uh, we used to harmonize, sing it over the dishpan and harmonize. And um, I thought we were singing the very latest punk rock, I guess. <coughs> <laughs> we're in those days, you know, that was, that's what it was. Let's see, brown eyes, um, the summer sun, okay. Right. <coughs> the summer sun was sinking low When brown eyes whispered I must go And not one moment would he wait but kissed my cheek and left the gate. It's those brown eyes I love so well. It's those brown eyes I long to see. Oh, how I sigh for those brown eyes, a stranger they.
um, I'm really having to fight with this chair. It's throwing me right backwards. Oh, that looks better. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That we're there yet, aren't we? <laughs> I was see, could see myself falling backwards off the stage there. Well, I've heard this song twice already today, and um, so I said, I guess I wouldn't sing it, and they all said, oh, sing it, sing it, because we probably changed it a little bit, so I, I, I was kind of confused when I heard it today, because some of the tune and some of the words were different. This is a song that I made up a long time ago, about 25, 20, 25 years ago, and it's got around some. It's been recorded by a whole lot of people now, uh, Johnny Cash and... <coughs> Uh, Michelle Schacht and all kinds of people um, called the L&N Don't Stop Here Anymore. <laughs> Boy, oh, I feel like Bill Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Monroe starting his hit here. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, uh, this is a, uh, you know, I've I just sort of, I made the song up with the guitar, so I always use the guitar. I can't play fit for a dog, but I play anyway. Uh, just, uh, just bumbly, because that's the way um, we used to play just to accompany songs. We're not instrumentalists at all. So this is the way the song used to sound before a lot of people got a hold of it. <laughs> I, I love, love the way they do it now, but uh, it's quite different when you hear the, the way, way it started out. So here's the way it started out. See, that's the way it started out. <laughs> <coughs> oh, when I was a curly headed baby, my daddy set me down upon his knee. Said, Son, you go to school, learn your letters. Don't you be no dusty miner like me. For I was born and raised at the mouth of the hazard holler. Coal cars roaring and a rumbling to pass my door. Now they're standing a rusty roll and empty. And the yelling in don't stop here anymore. I used to think my daddy was a black man. With scrip enough to buy the company store. But now he goes downtown with empty pockets. And his face is white as the February snow. And I was born and raised at the mouth of the hazard holler. Old cars roaring and a rumbling to pass my door. Now they're standing rusty, rolling empty. And the yelling in don't stop here anymore. Last night I dreamt I went down to the office. Get my payday like I done before. Them old cudsy vines had covered up the doorway And there was trees and grass Well, a-growing right through the floor Well, I never thought I'd live to love the coal dust Never thought I'd pray to hear the tipple roar But Lord that grass could change to money Them greenbacks Fill my pockets once more And I was born and raised At the mouth of the hazard holler With coal cars roaring and rumbling To pass my door Now they're standing rusty Rolling empty
my other solo here is going to be um, uh, a song that I made up for my mother. Um, she lived and grew up uh, in these mountains uh, down on uh, down at Viper uh, on Mesa's Creek, um, Mouth Mesa's Creek. John Hall. Well, they were they lived down in the bottom in Viper for a while, and then later on he moved up to Mesa's Creek. But um, she was raised right around in Viper there. And Dad came from Knott County. He was a foreigner and came over and married her. And uh, after they had, I guess Edna was a baby when they moved from Knott County over to Viper, uh, over from Dad's land over to Mama's land. And um, she remembers that wagon trip across the hills with all the goods and chattels and everything moving over to Viper. And I was number 14, so I, did, I wasn't there yet. <laughs> And so they, she, Mama lived and raised her family in the, she lived almost a whole century, and she was a, a beautiful woman. Everybody always said, Abby, you're prettier than any of your girls, and she'd say, I know. <laughs> 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 and uh, she was just a wonderful woman, and um, this, uh, the song is just in, to honor her. Uh, she's gone now quite a, quite a while, and a few, uh, 15 years or so, I guess. She lived to be 95, and uh, God willing, we'll... And then I hope to make it too. We're getting there. <laughs> so here's a song called Abigail. Now the second verse talks about whittledings, and that's the wood thrush. And there's another allusion to Mama's. Uh, well, this is a little story. Uh, one time she was. Um, uh, we were planting taters out in the front garden, and this fancy lady we didn't know was coming up the holler walking. And Mom just dusted off her hands like this and shook hands with the lady, and all of us youngins kind of cringed and said, Mom, you're getting the lady's hands dirty. And she said, well, it's just good, clean earth. And uh, the lady laughed, and she laughed, and, you know, we, I learned something. I learned what's the difference in dirt and earth that on that day, soil and soiled. So here's, uh, here's the second verse talks about those things. So when I make those allusions, you'll know what I'm talking about. Abigail. And your mother and your grandmother was probably the same. You were the queen of home and hill and garden. You what was right and wrong and taught us so. You lived by rules which now seem harsh and needless. Your love and grace made all those hard times glow. And when you speak, I see the mountains rise. And when you sing, I hear the waters flow. Your loving memories of a better time will shine around me everywhere I go. I see you still in the garden by the roadside. It's good, clean earth, you say, and life as we hoe along. I see your face light up at the colors of a rainbow, your quick, glad tears at the whittledings first song. And when you speak, and when you speak, I see the mountains rise when you sing. And when you sing, I hear the waters flow, loving memories, your loving memories of a better time will shine around me everywhere I go. Sometimes you feared, sometimes you got discouraged, sometimes you cried alone and closed your door, sometimes you railed at us and said life wasn't worth it. Your human failings made us love you more. And when you speak, I see the mountains rise. And when you sing, I hear the waters flow. Your loving memories of a better time shine around me everywhere I go. Your grands and greats now rise up to call you blessed. Your time and love and memory keep you near. 
Know that your life, its hopes and joys and sorrows, brings us one step along in God's great purpose here. When you speak, I see the mountains rise, and when you sing, I hear the waters flow. Your loving memories of a better time will shine around. had some more family here tonight and uh, I think they my my great nephew got his or my got his hand hurt and yet they had to go home so we were going to ask them to come and join us for this but you can all be our family tonight and sing it along with us it's called Twilight of Stealing it's the song that we as a family always used to and still do begin and end our singing sessions together when we got together to sing or to visit we always either started or ended the, the visit with this So it hit you, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right. Twilight is stealing over the sea. Shadows are falling dark on the lee. Born on the night wind, voices of yore come from the far off shore. Come on. Thank you, Gene. Thank you, Edna.
Glad to have you all back over here tonight. Welcome. Thank you. We've actually talked them into doing one more. Uh, sound man, help, help. <laughs> we want to stand up for this one. <laughs> so we spring these surprises to keep them on their toes. <laughs> uh, well, we didn't know we were going to get an encore, so we decided to sing one that we're going to stand up on, so here we are. Yeah. Uh, we're going to sing Now is the Cool of the Day, and please sing it with us. This is another written song by me, <laughs> and it's about, oh, 15 years ago, years old, I guess. My Lord, he said unto me, Do you like my garden so fair? You may live in this garden if you'll keep the grasses green, and I'll return in the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. the garden of my Lord, and he walks in his garden in the cool of the day. Then my Lord, he said unto me, do you like my garden so pure? You may live in this garden if you'll keep the waters clean. And I'll return in the cool of the day, sing. Now is the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. Oh, this earth is the garden, the garden of my Lord. And he walks in his garden in the cool Then my Lord, he said unto me, Do you like my pastures of green? You may live in this garden if you will feed my lambs, and I'll return in the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. The garden of my Lord, and he walks in his garden in the cool of the day. Then my Lord, he said unto me, do you like my garden so free? You may live in this garden if you'll keep the people free. And I'll return in the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. Oh, this earth is a garden, the garden of my Lord. And he walks in his Thank you for singing. That was beautiful. Thank you, Jean Edna. I hope to have him back again. All right. While we, uh, Jean and Edna's getting all over and getting settled down again, there's a couple of people here tonight that I've known for a long time. They're real close friends of mine and former co-workers. And we worked together down at the uh, Highlander Center down in. Uh, now in Newmarket, Tennessee. At the time we went there, I guess it was in Knoxville at that time. And uh, back there in the early 70s, Guy and Candy Carvin. Would y'all stand up, please? Guy and Candy Carvin. Great uh, guys. Uh, 
Candy has done a lot to promote uh, traditional music throughout not only the Appalachian region, but throughout the United States. We're proud to have you all over tonight, Guy and Candy. Okay? And right now, uh, we're going to bring up uh, somebody who's got something to say. And there's Mimi Pickering close by. Mimi, would you come on up, please? Well, I'm a film and video maker here at Apple Shop, and I was busy working the other day and couldn't go to a meeting, so they had a meeting and decided I had to do this. <laughs> I wasn't there. They decided I was the, um, I'm not the oldest Apple Shopper, but I, that I have been here the longest because Herbie and Marty, who were here originally, have went off to college and different things. And I came here as an Antioch uh, college sort of student in 1971 and began to learn filmmaking and then moved here in 1972 and I've been here since. But I would like to remind everybody I haven't been paid that whole time <laughs> and I hope the next 25 years will be better. Um, but it, it has been, I w want to acknowledge for Apple Shop some of the people who have um, been here off and on during those years and it's not always been easy for 25 years. Um, we never could support or find a way to keep everybody, all the wonderful people who have, who have come here and learned and participated and been part of Apple Shop and our alumni are scattered all over the country doing really good things, but um, they're not here. And we, um, Apple Shop started in 1969 as the Community Film Workshop of Appalachia. It was part of a number of programs around the country and the original director was Bill Richardson, who came down with his wife Josephine in the fall of 69 and founded the program. And I think we want to acknowledge Bill and his contribution tonight. Um, I think he had the foresight and the wisdom to encourage a program that was democratic, that was participatory, and that placed more emphasis on um, individual people learning to tell their own stories than on learning the qualities of a particular film stock or an f-stop or whatever. And maybe our film suffered for that in the beginning technically, but they had a lot of heart and the whole concept of Apple Shop got born. So I think I saw Bill over here. Would you stand up? Are you, are you still over there? And Josephine, if she's here. And, and Bill's still here in Whitesburg. Um, also, we, we acknowledged the contribution of Debbie Bays last night, but she was on the road and not even within radio distance, I think. Uh, now I think she's out there somewhere, but she's the original uh, founder of the Seed Time Festival, and some of you might know her as Gravy, the co-host of what was the Biscuits and Gravy Show um, on WMMT. And I don't know, Debbie, can you hear me? Are you out there anywhere? She's out there somewhere. We, She's an Apple Shop and alumni and the founder of Seedcom. <laughs> and then we'd like all the other alumni to stand up. There's a bunch of folks out there, if you would. Jack Wright, Rick D. Clementi, Frankie Taylor. I've seen Catherine Pearson. I know there's a lot of you. Would you stand up? They're probably, most at, they're probably lurking in the back somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> And we have a special um, 25th anniversary cake right in the back, and we'd like during the intermission for all of you to join us and have a piece of cake. So come, let's eat cake. Let's give Mimi a big hand. She's done a good job. Our, our biscuits. Okay, we're going to have an intermission, have some uh, a cake cutting ceremony. And if you've not put your name in the little box, be sure and do it. We'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> 